new video has surfaced of the woman who wrongly accused a black teen of stealing her iPhone. She claimed in an interview she had been attacked, but police say the new video appears to show her attacking the 14-year-old before running out of the hotel in Soho. Eyewitness News reporter Derek Waller with more. New video from the NYPD shows that woman go on the attack, tackling that 14-year-old boy she falsely accused of stealing her cell phone. Later, she's seen falling over. It's that surveillance video from the Arlo Hotel, Keon Harold's parents say, shows the hotel management mishandled the incident. After the hotel helped the lady retrieve her phone, they did not have a security ask her to wait for the police. Which they said they called. No, I'm not letting him walk away with my phone. This is the video that initially went viral. The hotel apologized, but acknowledges they could have done more. The woman still not charged with a crime, but NYPD sources say they know who she is. And in fact, CNN says they got her on the phone, where she claims she was injured. But outside City Hall Wednesday, jazz musician Keon Harold Sr. and the Reverend Al Sharpton demanded criminal charges. We demand full prosecution. We demand if this woman is saying she was assaulted, put her in the grand jury. How many people end up in prison forever? How many people end up dead because of because of mistaken identity, quote unquote, because of wrongfully accused Racial by so, so many people wrongfully Profile and this needs to stop. This morning, Mayor de Blasio also called for charges. It is a horrible situation. You got a, a teenager here who did nothing wrong, who was clearly profiled because he was young and male and black. That is racism, pure and simple. That is unacceptable in this city, in this country. And as the legal process plays out, this woman is clearly already facing some poetic justice in the court of public opinion. I'm Derek Waller, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.